The 10,000-strong group of soldiers that North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un gifted to his Russian friend Vladimir Putin will never return home. The two leaders have prepared a terrible death for them. Russian blogger and military observer Michael Naki writes about this in his blog. He was interested in an article by the British publication Sky News about the transfer of North Korean soldiers to the Russian Federation, which said that the commanders of the Russian armed forces would have language problems with the newly arrived unit and also that the group would not want to return back to the North Korea. Naki sharply criticized the article, expressing the opinion that the authors do not understand the realities of the war that Russia is waging against Ukraine. They are there in a tank. North Koreans will be used in the same way as prisoners, as cannon fodder, to get from point A to point B. Whoever is lucky enough to survive, they will send the next group to gradually accumulate, and so on, in a circle. In order to communicate, they do not need to know the language, they only need an index finger to show in which direction the meat should crawl. That's all. And yes, such tactics do not provide for the presence of survivors and a subsequent return to North Korea. This is a one-way road, the blogger wrote. It should be noted that according to the head of the Ukrainian military intelligence Kirill Budanov, about 11,000 North Korean servicemen have already arrived in the Russian Federation, of which almost 3,000 are already heading to the Kursk region. The GUR assumes that these soldiers will soon be thrown into the offensive. Colonel Ants Kiviselg, head of the Estonian Defense Forces Intelligence Center, believes that the participation of the North Korean military in the war against Ukraine will not change the situation at the front. According to Kiviselg, Russia's involvement of DPRK troops in the war in Ukraine demonstrates Moscow's problems in maintaining intense hostilities. Public reports say that the number of North Korean units can reach 10,000 soldiers and are currently located in the eastern military district of the Russian Federation. There are also reports of the creation of a unit of about 3,000 people on the basis of an airborne assault brigade manned by North Koreans, which is likely to operate in the Kursk or Bryansk regions in the future. He recalled, the head of the Estonian intelligence said that sending 3,000 to 10,000 North Korean troops to the Ukrainian front will not bring any significant changes on the battlefield. However, if it continues for a longer period of time, it could play a significant role in future battles, Kiviselg added. Special Forces of Ukraine's main intelligence directorate have recaptured from Russian forces a key area, the village of Kruglyakovka and its surrounding area, near Kupiansk city in the country's eastern Kharkiv region. The main intelligence directorate reported on Friday that the operation to regain control of the village lasted a week, from October 7 to October 14. The enemy resisted and tried to counterattack, but was defeated and driven out of the village, the agency stated. The village was recaptured as a result of joint operation by special forces of the Brotherhood Unit of the Main Intelligence Directorate under the Defense Ministry, with the support of paratroopers from the 77th Brigade. As a result of successful offensives launched by Ukrainian forces, the Russian army suffered heavy losses. More than a platoon of Russian military personnel was killed and captured, according to the agency. As a result of the operation, Russian troops were driven out of the populated area, and the routes of movement of the occupiers were mined. The news of liberation of Kruglyakovka in Kharkiv comes as Russia has been making steady gains in the east of Ukraine. Earlier this week, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky pressed for immediate invitation for Ukraine's joining NATO.